Stripping down the Henry, let's go. Open this clip and this clip and lift. Look on that and undo all seven screws with the Torx T20 screwdriver. If you remove the four outer screws, you can remove the lid like so. And then you can have access to the cable rewind, which literally lifts out like that. So that's the cable rewind. If you want to remove the cable, undo these three screws and you can change the entire cable. Okay, so that's the cable sorted. Now, to access the motor, you can lift up on this part after removing all seven screws, like so, yeah? And the motor can literally lift out. So you remove the rubber piece first, and then the motor can come out like so. Now, take note of the wiring where it goes. So you undo the two wires, it's literally that simple. And there you go, that's the motor. If you want to take it apart further for cleaning, Lift up on this sound deadening, you can give that a wash if you wanna. And then this grill part comes out, so you can give that a wash as well. And then you have the bare bones with the two wires, okay? So that's all done now. You can lift up on the lid, and the cable rewind, yeah? Give the cable a wipe down if you wanna. Now, what we've got left is the switch area, so you can unclip the back, yeah? which shows you the wiring for the switch. Now, this is the Henry 160, so it looks like this, okay? If you want to change the switches, you have to pry up on the switches upwards from basically here, yeah? And then you can lift it out like that, and that applies to the light as well. And then wire it up in, in exactly the same way, and that's it. That's how simple a Henry vacuum is. This vacuum is too simple. Two wires from the cable, go here, yeah, so that's why there's two of the rings, which go to the switch, and then they go to the motor with these two wires. There's also two more wires going to the light to show you that there's power, and that is it, that's how simple the vacuum is. Now for assembly, we replace the back cover for the switch housing, yeah, replace the cable rewind, which goes in here like so, making sure that the cable goes in this notch, okay, and then this little plastic part, mates up with the lid cut out right there like that replace your grill like so it's very very easy now you get your sound deadening first put it back in where it belongs yeah then you grab your motor connect the two wires where they belong this is just too simple okay so the wire goes there, and the other one goes there. Then you put the motor back where it belongs. Literally, that simple. The rubber part goes back on, and now you can literally... Um, that goes on that way, and there we go. That is the whole unit back together again. You just screw it up, and then job done. You're probably watching this video thinking, oh, this vacuum's too easy to fix. Why is this guy making such a big deal out of nothing yet? I could do this myself. Well, that's literally what it is. It's like a kid crying over his sweet that fell on the floor. And that's it. Literally, it's not even that much of a biggie. But anyways, Henry's done now. You can finally put it back on his happy smiley face base bucket thing, yeah? Because it's literally a motor on top of a bucket, yeah? Plug it in. Switch it on and get vacuuming. Nice one. Get yourself a cup of tea. Actually, let me check if it does work, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be embarrassed. Woo!